Adelaide researchers are trialling a vaccine for the most common strain of the potentially deadly meningococcal disease. More than 200 Australians were struck down by the infection last year, most of those young children. It's been three years since Amy Smithson and Ned Kelly lost their little girl, Danny Jo. She's a special girl. Ned went to change the 22-month-old's nappy one morning and noticed something was wrong. She had a bit of vomit near her head and I knew something was up and as I changed her I noticed a bright red rash on her pelvic bone. Danny Jo was raced to hospital but tragically died just two and a half hours later. She had meningococcal disease, an infection her parents thought she was immunised against. They say this one's for meningococcal and you think that, OK, well, that's... That's her needle, that's all she, she needs. And they don't tell you that there's 13 different types of it, that it's only for one strain. A vaccine for meningococcal C is available. However, there's currently no vaccine for the B strain of the disease in Australia, which is responsible for around 80% of cases. But Adelaide researchers hope to change that. They're trialling a vaccine to protect against the B strain in healthy children and young adults. We hope to have these vaccines available very soon. But before we can, we need to get more safety data just to make sure these vaccines are safe and effective. And they say that could happen within a few years. And I know it's too late for us, but you know, to, to help all them other people that, that will be able to have it, it'll be amazing. Elise Baker, Nine News.